Hi, Greg here. I wanted to talk a little bit about metaphors or themes, uh, something that your ePortfolio will have sort of a main focus uh, in terms of education and teaching and students. And you're going to weave that throughout your ePortfolio. And what I'm going to do is show you some exemplars from past students and show you how they um, did this both visually and with quotes and words uh, and how that whole thing works. So here goes. I'm going to show you a number of ePortfolios and the metaphors or themes that were used in them. Now this is the site that I use uh, for my course and what I'll do is I'll post the links to these sites so that you can have a look at them uh, in your own space and time. So I'm going to start with Sydney's and she did her educational metaphor uh, on Mother Nature. And within this metaphor, Mother Nature can be related to students as learners or to myself as an educator. Now she's got a really great quote by Sir Ken Robinson up here. Farmers and gardeners know you cannot make a plant grow. The plant grows itself. Uh, you can read the rest. What I want to kind of have a look at though is that throughout this ePortfolio, you'll see that she's used really visual headers that extend the metaphor or the theme. And so uh, page by page, it's sort of woven throughout uh, the ePortfolio. Now another one, which is sort of similar, uh, is by Josh Bolt. And following the seasons, the nature of teaching. And he talks about British Columbians being connected to the world around us. Uh, we change with the seasons, the seasons always change. Uh, and then he starts to talk about creating connections between children and the natural world around them is paramount to the cultivation of beautiful, healthy futures for generations to come. So that was sort of his metaphor theme that he used. If we look at some of the work that Josh has done here, you'll see that on his frame of reference, he's included some visual uh, images that extend the whole metaphor, if you like. And that's something that students really need to look at and practice visually supporting their words. The third one I wanna have a look at is by Rebecca Gourlay, and hers was on, beautiful picture by the way, beautiful picture. I believe it was taken by Bree Thompson, but um, oh, sorry, Brie Elizabeth down here, nice link. Uh, her educational metaphor was teaching is like parenting, both require enthusiasm, dedication, patience, love. Uh, and she compared uh, the two and sort of put the teacher in the role of a parent. And throughout her e-portfolio, uh, this metaphor was visually uh, quite apparent. And some were in black and white, some were in color. I kind of like that contrast. And so that's another example of a metaphor being used uh, in another person's e-portfolio. In this case, uh, she used her own children she, and she didn't require permission for that. And she actually had a student take pictures uh, who's a professional photographer. When you're developing your metaphor or theme for your EP, you need to think about the role of the teacher students, um, and the whole sort of teaching, learning environment and schools, and then compare it or, you know, link it uh, to whatever you're going to use uh, as your metaphor. Some people in the past have used hiking a mountain or a journey. Uh, others have talked about the concept or notion of being a tour operator and guiding people, if you like, around to various stops and that sort of role and then compare that to teaching students. Regardless, whichever one you pick, you're going to support it visually with images like I said earlier and also uh, throughout uh, interspersing some quotes uh, from those in the educational field is not a bad plan either. Metaphors are what you make of them and certainly they will develop over time and uh, they require a little bit of thought and care and attention. Hopefully this gives you a starting point in terms of developing one for your portfolio. Thanks for listening.